Hey guys, to help run the forums, host the website, and travel, we've introduced a universal service fee for in-depth coverage, including this video. My goal is to be unbiased and transparent. It's a privilege to serve you. This is not an endorsement. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on guys? We're back in Fullerton, California at Fullerton Cycles, and I'm here with Mike, who is the owner of Fullerton Cycles. Good morning, good and afternoon. Mike, you've been here quite a while. Tell us about your shop. Yeah, so I've been here basically, uh, I bought the store in 2003. The store was established in uh, 1969, so we just celebrated 50 years of open retail. So we're very blessed to be able to, to state that. So it's been a great great experience and a great opportunity. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yes. And uh, we've got a, a real special treat for you today because we've covered tons of bikes, but we haven't covered one quite like this one. We're gonna give you a quick look at it here. So this is from Liv, and it is the Intrigue E Plus One Pro. And now Liv is kind of like a sister company to Giant. How would you describe Liv? So essentially, Liv was created in the mid 2000s, and I apologize for not the exact year. But Liv is a secondary brand to Giant, and it's women's specific dedication. So Giant is the, the foundry, the company, the foundation. They created Liv, and Liv is women specific only. So when we talk about this bike, this is one of a kind. And Giant has a complete dedicated team in Taiwan and in USA. They've got global marketing people. They've got regional marketing people. We have live ambassadors that ride live bicycles. You know, the three form function, they call it fit form function, the three F's part of their uh, technology talk. And when you even leave live performance e-bikes, we go into other bikes by live. They are all proprietary designed. This is not a men's bike with a pretty color. It is engineered from the ground up specifically for the female. Same company, same quality, same performance. Everything's the same, but it's women specific. They got a lot of great bikes they offer. And one of the one of the great things you get too with it being a kind of a sister company to Giant is the great warranty. Exactly the same, right? So you get Correct. the two year comprehensive warranty, lifetime on the frame. And you've got really high quality components here as well. So let's take a look at this bike. Uh, it is a very sleek looking full suspension bike. They did a great job with you know, internally routed cabling here. The battery is you know, locking down tube right here and it just fits in so well. You could easily not even think that this is an e-bike if you were to see it on the trails. And fantastic suspension on this bike. So we've got 140 millimeters of travel in the back, and this is the Maestro floating point suspension, which is a giant proprietary suspension. Correct, and we have the two floating rocker arms right here that, that articulate the suspension, which is amazing. And with it being a Maestro suspension bike, some of the benefits you get is we get what we call A, you know, we get uh, small bump compliance. We also get pedal efficiency and under braking load the suspension does not stink bug it does not lock up so if the lady is on this bike and she's ripping down that trail going into that turn and she has to use a lot of brake the suspension is still active under braking load um, it's a really well laid out suspension engineer design and maestro suspension evolved around 2004 2005 ish it's world class athlete mountain bike design so we have world champions that have ridden this is proprietary suspension and have won you know mountain bike championships, downhill championships, enduro championships. It is a proven design. And complementing this in the rear, we've got the, I think it's the Fox 36s in the front. Yes, sir. Uh, 150 millimeters of travel up here, fully adjustable as you would expect for uh, rebound, lockout, and compression. And solid, you know, aluminum, uh, aluminum alloy anodized stanchions there, nice and durable. And for stopping power on this bike, we've got Shimano brakes. These are the Shimano MT, no, they're the Shimano BR MT 520s. These are hydraulic disc brakes, 203 millimeter rotors front and rear with quad piston calipers. So excellent stopping power. They do a great job. And the tires on these, they've got a really cool design where you have the, the Maxxis uh, recons on the front. Actually DHF oh, on the front. Those are on the front, that's right. That's right, DHF on the front. And that is a 2.60 and the rear they run the recon 2.6 but that's got the faster more low profile tread and the front you know with that bigger spread out knobby um, really enables the bike to corner and keep it stable at high speeds and not let the front end wash out 
during a high speed turn or something of that nature. Which is really great to see. And not only that, but they even have you know more spokes in the back. We've got 32 spokes in the back versus 28 in the front to help accommodate just the higher weight on the back. Both of these tires are you know E mountain bike ready. And is that they call been, it? these have been converted to tubeless. And that process right. was very easy. Um, all the bikes from Giant come with tubes, but they are tubeless ready. Essentially, all I had to do was basically remove the inner tube. It's pre-taped with Giant's e-bike tubeless rim tape. Put the valves in, put the sealant in, burp it up, life was good. It took me 15 minutes maximum to get that set up for tubeless, which is definitely an advantage. You, we're always looking out for things to kind of be aware of as a consumer. And I was really having to kind of scrape at the bottom of the barrel here. And I'm gonna run through just a couple of those things. Um, one of them is just the, the charging port location when it's on the bike. Uh, it's right here and it's, you know, it, the charging cover's on a leash, which is great. It's not gonna get lost, it seals well, but it is right in the way of this crank arm. So you do wanna be careful when you have it charging that, you know, this doesn't get bumped because that could potentially hit that cord and you, you know, that's something that you don't wanna break. And the other, uh, the other kind of a downside, we'll, we'll talk about the charger here. And this isn't so much of a downside as just a trade off to be aware of. Now, for the charger, if you want to charge the battery off the bike, you have to use this dongle right here, which, you know, that's not a huge deal. Just make sure you don't lose this or else that would be a bummer. So this is a six amp charger, which is incredibly fast. You know, you'll be able to charge this battery very quickly with this. But, you know, the trade off with having that six amp charger is it's pretty heavy. You're looking at 3.1 pounds for this charger. So that's not something that you can easily you know, throw in your backpack and take with you. Of course, given the use of this bike for a full suspension mountain bike, you're probably not going to be lugging your charger around with you anyways, but just you know, be aware of that. Now the battery on here, as we mentioned, this is a, it's a down tube integrated battery here and it has a two-step release, which is really great. And we're gonna have Mike demonstrate that. So we need, ready. So there's this pop. Yep, so we, we, you unlock that first one here and then to fully remove it, you have to press the lever on the inside and then it will pop out. That way it doesn't just drop out on you unexpectedly. Now this is a 36 volt, I think it's an, like an 11.36 amp hour battery. Gets you about gets you about 500 watt hours. It does have you know the button on it so you can press to see the charge, and the down tube integration on this is really stellar. I'll let you go ahead and put that back in there. Yeah, the nice thing with this is it does go in smooth, and you're done. And that's all there is to it. And you know you don't need the key in to ride, of course. And the battery is connected to the motor here. This is a Giant Seek Drive Pro. Now this is a, it's based on a Yamaha motor. The Yamaha, is it the, P, the PW? Their top of the line motor. Uh huh. Based on Yamaha's top of the line motor here, but it is specifically built and tuned by Giant to Correct. get you even more performance yeah. out of it. Yeah, Giant likes to call it their Sync Drive. And Giant has been working with Yamaha and e-bike technology for many years. Giant's first e-bike came out over 20 years ago. So Giant as a company, who's the manufacturer, Liv, have been building performance e-bikes for over 20 years. Yamaha is an amazing partner. The engineers work hand in hand together to give the consumer ultimately one of the best performing products on the market. This motor here cannot be purchased by any other e-bike company. There's patents and different things that Giant has done with Yamaha to secure the technology they built into this motor is top notch. Good news is this motor got a lot lighter from 2018 and 2019. And word on the street is for 2020, we will see a few more tweaks and the motor will become a lot quieter, up to 20% quieter, which that makes this bike virtually noise free. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's already so quiet already. So that's an amazing improvement for him to make. Uh, 250 watts on this motor, about 500 peak. And you may have already noticed this as we've been going through the bike, but uh, Liv, you know, Giant and Liv both are great about this. They put torque, uh, you know, torque rules on all, every adjustment point on this bike tells you how much torque to use so that you make sure that you tighten it sufficiently without overdoing it which is you know, really great, especially if you're doing some tune-ups on it yourself. You're like, I'm not sure about how exactly how much I should tighten this. Correct. And we've got the dropper seat post, which is of course a, you know, pretty much a requirement on a mountain bike. And it's got the left handlebar mounted control for it there. And the saddle here is a Live Contact upright saddle. And that's a proprietary Live product that's designed for a woman, not recommended for a man. 
Yep, and then moving up to the uh, the kind of the cockpit here. So this uses their, it's called the Ride Control 1 is this control system here. So you want to go ahead and hit the power to fire that up there. Boom. It uses these LEDs for indicators. So you don't have a screen to worry about getting, you know, tipping over and getting ruined while you're riding a mountain bike, which is great. And as Mike's showing here, those up and down pads will change your level of assist. Batteries, power's on the right. So we have five LED lights to indicate. So each light disappears, we lose 20% of charge. So it's very simple to keep calculation of that. Yep, and so this is something that we usually call out as kind of a downside when there's only kind of, you know, these 20% steps on battery. Because if you're getting down towards the end, you might be like, oh, I'm not, I don't know exactly when I hit that last 20%. But you don't have to worry about that too much with this because there is actually an app that goes along with this bike, Giant's Ride Control app. You connect to the bike with Bluetooth and it, you know, when you pair it, you register the bike, it kind of shows your ownership. And in the app, we'll show you some screenshots here. And these are just their, their promotional screenshots to demonstrate it since this isn't registered to the bike. Shows you the battery level, you can do uh, you know, motor tuning, you can do trip planning, and they, they're probably going to be adding more and more features to this as it goes. This is a relatively new app for them. So if you're used to having more feedback on the screen or you just want to be able to kind of check in and say, what is my actual battery percentage? You can just pull out your phone, check the app and see exactly where you're at. And you can also, if you're riding it on less extreme terrain, you can just get a handlebar mount for your phone and put your phone on there. And these also do come with a flick bell on the right handlebar here. Okay, and so then looking at the handlebars, we've got just a little bit of a sweep back, but there is something special about these handlebars that is unique to Liv, so we're gonna let Mike talk about yeah, that so here. so what Liv does is, you know, most females are a lot more petite than the male, so they've, they've done, instead of running like an 800 millimeter bar on some bikes, or a 780, they run like a 760 width handlebar to give the woman more comfort, and once the woman gets set up on the bike, if the bars need to be cut more narrower, we have the capabilities of doing that. They use a live proprietary grip, which is a special grip that is a live grip made for the woman, which is really nice and, and very comfortable. And that can always be exchanged or traded out for a different grip. But it's just nice to see that that is all live proprietary products on this bicycle. Fantastic. And also worth mentioning that we do have bosses on that tube for bottle cages. So you'll be able to mount those right there. All right guys, that does it for the walkthrough here. Now to test ride this bike, we are going to get some footage out on the trail. Mike and Court both are going to take these bikes out and ride around on the Fullerton Loop. So let's check out some of that. Okay guys, wanted to start out on the road for the ride test here, just cause it's gonna be a little bit quieter than maybe the dirt. And then we're gonna go off road a little bit later. 36 tooth chain ring. Love that we've got that plastic MRP guide, it's gonna keep it on track, but also the narrow wide teeth, just a huge spread back here, 11 to 46. This is awesome. I do like the Shimano derailleur system. We've got the uh, the clutch kind of engages and keeps it tight, reduces some bouncing. We've got multi-shift on this bike, so you can click that like three steps at once if you want to, but be careful. This doesn't have uh, any kind of software driven shift detection or anything. It's a little bit more advanced. Like as you're riding the bike, it's up to you to reduce some of that strain on the drivetrain or to ease off a little bit on those pedals and then dump a bunch of gears and i'm i'm actually a fan of it i like having more of an open system uh it's just there it can be a little bit more vulnerable now a lot of the new sram stuff is like single click same thing with box so anyway here we go I'm in a super low gear right now, so I'm, I'm all the way up to like 120 RPM uh, almost immediately. This is slower pedaling. It really kicks in. It's a pretty satisfying uh, system. Here, so now I'm gonna shift some gears. Whoop. Dumped a whole bunch into the higher. Pretty easy to reach 20 miles per hour on this bike. But again, without like a LCD display panel, it's hard to know exactly how fast we're going. So there we go. We head back down to the trail now for a second. And on the way, I wanted to demonstrate the stability. This is raked out a little bit, so when you're slow or when you're parked, the handles can flop back and forth a little bit. But we've got a nice angle for taking on some bigger hits. Here we go, take this off road. Beautiful. Doing great with these hydraulic disc brakes.
There we go, we top out that 20 mile per hour top speed and you can pedal beyond that and this doesn't have any kind of drag or anything. To me, the big takeaway with the uh, PWX system is just that it's a little bit lighter weight. It's got that nice narrow Q factor. It's very responsive and in some ways quieter. I, I feel like, you know, there's a range of these uh, like high torque mountain bike motors. And I feel like Broza is probably the quietest. Bosch can be a little bit louder. It's got the reduction gearing system. And this one has a standard chain ring interface there. So you can actually swap out the chain rings if you wanted to. And it's a one to one. There's no reduction gearing. So yeah, there's a little bit more noise. I'm in the highest level of assist. Um, but when you're pedaling at a, a pretty standard cadence, it's it's not as noisy as some of them. Some of the other ones here in Shimano too can be a little bit noisy. Let's try this again. Face in the other direction. There we go. Nice and easy. There's Mike up there. He's on the trance. Got a nice setup. Sweet, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Nice little air. Yeah. Flying. Awesome. Hey guys, we've got one of Mike's friends or customers. She's a customer. This is Sarah. Hey. How's it going? What's your normal bike day to day? Um, I normally am riding a Turbo Levo and an old school Gary. Very nice. Yeah. And so we, you know, this was the women's, but this is actually a bit larger frame mm -hmm. and you're a tall person. So you were yeah, like, hey, this is my color, right? Yeah, you it like is the my orange? color. It's my favorite. So the display on this one, it's not like the LCD. You just, you press this button mm -hmm. up for more, down for less. There's five steps. I'm going to start it off in like no assist. And you got adjustable seed and... Seat yeah, you got the dropper and everything. Nice. Okay. Have fun. I'm off. Yeah, I'm excited to hear I'm your thoughts. Back up just a little bit. And Go for it. This is a <laughs> you got long legs. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? This is really fun. It's a nice bike, huh? Yeah. I was really booking it and yeah. the interface is super intuitive. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Everything switches on the motor really easy. Sorry, I was really moving. Oh, you're great. And it, uh, my whole life that, flashed uh, before my eyes. Why? <laughs> well, that I was just gonna say, it's so much cardio. I it think is. people underestimate. They do. You switch from the suffer fast to the cardio fast. Yeah, and the heart and like the adrenaline yeah, and everything. I love it. Yeah, I would have totally considered this um, if this version was available when I was shopping. Sweet. Yeah, well, I thanks for your feedback. Any other thoughts? I mean, yeah, be as honest as you want. Yeah. Um, I love these tires. I have the same ones on my bike. Really. We talked about that. It's a good setup. Like they actually have a different tire in the front than in the rear. So this one's designed for like kind of steering and that one's a little, little s smaller nubs for climbing and better traction. Makes sense. And these ones dig in a lot. There is extra weight. And you said you've, you've got an e-bike or you ride. What, how does I that do feel? I do have an e-bike. And frankly, um, when I go back to my regular bike, it feels unsupported and weak. I mm -hmm. love the stability. And especially for like really aggressive downhill stuff, you have that that like glued down feeling yeah. and you, you hit every landing really well. Nice. Yeah, so there's less washout because you have the weight of the bike working with you. Fantastic. I love it. Thank you so much for going on camera. My pleasure. And it, you just look like you had a blast out there. It's really fun. I would totally do it. I would get a bigger size for myself because this felt kind of BMX-y, but, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Totally like Professional on spike, no setup camera. Let's just find a nice lady in the trail. Perfect. <laughs> right. I mean, that was, it was meant to be, Corey. Was that what you were out here for? <laughs> we were no. filming. Yeah. We're, we're well, you know. I love it. Cool. And cool. then the thing is, Giant and like uh, some of the other big companies mm -hmm. too, they have multiple sizes. And that's oh, something course. the smaller companies just yeah. can't support. So, well, and a women's version. So yeah. You have multiple sizes in women and yes. men. And shorter reach, because women tend to have like shorter arms proportionally to their. Minus this one. Right. <laughs> yeah. Nice. But it Should gives. Been a swimmer. A, I was a swimmer. <laughs> Michael Phelps. I was a competitive swimmer that's my right. whole life, senior. There you go. There you so, go. Uh, but I like the option because then you're going to be able to find the trigonometry for just about everybody. Mm -hmm. So it makes tons of sense. Perfect. Absolutely. Is the saddle also different? What else makes this like female so specific? So the woman's conversion, like I told you guys yesterday, obviously this is a woman's proprietary saddle. It's got a different, completely different design. It's a little bit stubbier, a little bit wider because women have bared children. Mm -hmm. So their hip bones are a little bit different size than men. 
Um, the frame geometry, even though this is a medium, it is a completely different geometry as far as the measurements from top tube to center of seat, bottom bracket, it's all different. Hmm. And I know on live bikes, the woman's traditional bikes, they use a different thickness of aluminum in certain areas. Really? Because a woman doesn't have as much upper chest strength as a man, oh. so they don't need to be as heavy there. It helps get the bike lighter. They do different things in the way the bikes are manufactured wow. in the factory, which people don't understand that or know that. These bikes are completely designed and engineered for women by women. Wow, that's awesome. That's pretty it great. Is. It's yeah. very innovative for sure. Yeah. Well, thank you again, sir. My pleasure. Rock on, guys. Good to see you guys on the trail. Yeah. yeah. See you. Goodbye. Good All right. Out. Will do. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us as we checked out the Intrigue E Plus One Pro from Live Cycles. If you own this bike and you want to share your experience, or maybe you just have some comments or questions about it, we would love to hear from you. So chime in in the comments section. And then we'll see you next time. And as always, ride safe.